Hey, buddy, it's Invictus. Time to read and run here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Saturday, Mosh Pit. I hope you all are having a great weekend. We're still waiting for the next video to cross 3,000 likes. We have a couple of videos that are very close to doing so. So if you want to go check those out, definitely check out the backlog here on the main channel. Or if you're a new subscriber, then go check out some earlier runs from this week. They were kind of a doozy. Here's your meme of the day here. <laughs> Brought to you by, uh, I'm going to say Super Jupiter. The title thread was, dude, that ha dude has that natural enhance eyes. Enhance in all caps in the uh, in the parentheses, or in the uh, quotation marks. Me when Invicta points out, double tinted rocks. Hey, look, I try to do my best to like show you the best I can, but sometimes the graphical fidelity on OBS translating from the encoder is a little bit iffy. So thank you very much, Super Jupiter. Everyone who upvoted that one, here's okay. CJ is going to be Papa Zero, Victor, Foxtrot, uh, Nine, Bravo, Romeo, Sierra. We've got good tiers, good damage, and bad movement speed, but we are also starting on a Curse of the XL with only two Soul Hearts. So there's two different ways to look at this. The first thing is negatively, which is like, you know, usually the, that, that's usually what I associate uh, Curse of the Labyrinth with. Some people were wondering why I was calling it Curse of the XL. It's just because there's the it's represented by the letters XL for extra large. Um, but I always call it that just because it's easier to say than Curse of the Labyrinth. Um, anyway, there's the first thing to, that comes to mind is negative because obviously we don't we don't really want to lose a shop. We don't really want to lose special <coughs> special rooms and curse rooms and that sort of thing and secret rooms. But a uh, floor one and floor two, it's basically the only time where it's okay to have an XL floor mainly because you don't lose out on a devil deal. That's the that's the biggest downside to having uh, XL floors. Now, here's the problem with this particular start. So the reason why it's not as it's not as okay as it normally is is because we only have soul hearts for HP. And what that means is that we cannot take a devil deal here unless if we get some more soul hearts or we somehow happen to procure a red heart upgrade, which is not all guaranteed, but it's likely. I mean, we usually see some HP coming from bosses, but obviously, truth be told, you just never know what the seed is going to give you. I cannot believe that we're still in this room here. Thank you. It's probably going to the boss. No, it's just going to a dead end. Should have known. Um, and despite what it looks like, we do not have Ipecac or uh, Sinus Infection or Common Cold. This is what Infestation 1 looks like. So you don't usually get to see Infestation 1 a whole lot in its natural habitat. I didn't know that those walking hosts actually deal contact damage to you. Um, I do want to get the, I do want to get the blanket because it does give us a soul heart, but more importantly, gives us the holy mantle effect inside of a boss room. So we're going to be doing that right now. We don't need a key to get into either of the item rooms, nor do we need one in the store, obviously. Uh, but if we can open up that golden chest, that would be nice. Yeah. So here's the problem with only using, with using our only bomb that we, that we had access to. And that was because... Um, uh, we had the Tinder Rock. Now, I did time that death card, waiting for that black champion to go over there and explode the, uh, the Tinder Rock to save us the trouble. The little Chad, which is going to do nothing for us right now, but he might do something later. And we get D-Bizzle, the tag team champs. Whoa. Okay, now we've got ourselves some play here. So D-Bizzle and little Chad, literally the tag team champs of the world, because what they do now is they have direct synergy with each other. Right, because not only does little Chad throw out the kisses or the half hearts uh, every now and then, which is pretty frequently, but we can let D Bizzle pick those up and then have ourselves a good old fashioned soul heart. Uh, uh, ho I was gonna say hoedown, but that doesn't make any sense because like uh, I was gonna go with like like we were gonna have a bathtub full of, of soul hearts, and then I was like hoedown, and then that doesn't n none of that makes sense. Don't listen to me. It's look, it's Saturday. All right, I don't I don't have to. I don't have to deal with this level of harassment that I'm doing to myself and no one else is doing to me. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to use Game Kid here because obviously Duke of Flies is really no problem at all, especially when we have Holy Mantle given to us from the blanket. But we have really good tiers rate. 3.45 is absolutely incredible for a starting for a starting tier stat. Now, that's not the tier stat that I want to be ending with, but who knows at this point. Um, and 3.54 is very, very good for starting damage. It's above base Isaac damage, which is 3.50. So, you know, we, we've definitely we suffered through a lot of bad starts, especially on stream this week. Um, and, uh, you know, it is it is nice to have a decent DPS to begin a run with. So the black flies will not hurt you. We do get matchbook, and that is going to give us one soul heart and a couple more bombs. It's going to be by God. By God. 
We can use a uh, game kid here. I just run over pan. We get another soul heart, and we also get a tears up here. Percy of bar of soap. So we did make enough HP to make it happen, but the problem is that we cannot take. We can't take Guppy's tail, and I mean, bloody gust is good. It's good, but I'd rather I'd rather wait on that just because I want to see if we can get an angel deal. Um, now, do we need angel deals? No, we don't need angel deals. Um, do we need devil deals? Probably, but again, I don't really, I don't really like being shoehorned into taking an item that we don't necessarily need or can really benefit a lot from. Um, and it's not that Bloody Gust isn't good. I, I just don't think at this point of the, at this stage of the game, I don't think that Bloody Gust is three soul hearts good. And obviously, I'm not going to be taking uh, Guppy's tail because it kills our key, our our key economy, which is already in the in the garbage right now. So, is that double tinted rock. It was not. I thought I thought one of those rocks looked, looked a little sus, a little a little sussy baka, as the kids say. No, they don't say that anymore already. It's already not cool to say that. I just had to, I just had to look at this chest. I, I mean, it, it was it's been there taunting me this entire time. So, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we got the tag team champs of the world. We did get a tears up. We didn't really get too much of a damage upgrade, but our DPS did go up slightly thanks to Bar Soap. Okay, back at it now. Here we go. As you see here, it's favorable for our Devil Deal or Angel Deal uh, percentages to get a an XL floor on the first floor only. As you see here, normally when we get to when we get to floor three, it doesn't matter if we go into the Devil Deal or not. It doesn't matter if we take a Devil Deal <clears throat> or skip it. It just doesn't matter. We are almost always and exclusively going to have 33.8% uh, to lead off this to lead off this this floor. Uh, and the reason that is is because obviously we we got the devil deal, so we we naturally qualified for it. So then our ratio gets reset, our percentages uh, gets reset to what the standard like base level is, which is thirty three percent. But the reason why it's gone up to sixty seven point six percent is because technically speaking, because we had two floors last floor, which was an XL floor, as you all know, that counts as us having gone to floor one and gotten a, a qualified for a devil deal normally, which would be 100%. And then we got to floor two and then missed the devil deal. Okay, so I know that sounds confusing, but in this, in this, the way that it works for the percentage, I'm going to try to explain the best I can. If you start off with an XL floor, okay, pretend that floor one, that basement one or, or, or seller one pretend that you do normally get an x a uh, a devil deal naturally like you would on floor two okay floor one takes the place of floor two it's only in this scenario that this happens when you get a, a curse of the labyrinth on floor one and two okay this is the only time that this happens in the game so because floor one is now the new floor two in the in the devil deal's mind basically we got the devil deal or we missed the devil deal on floor one and we or, sorry we got the devil deal on floor one, and then we missed it on floor two. Okay, so our percentage went from 100% down to 33%, and now it's gone up to 67% because in the game's mind, since we already missed it on floor two, we are now ready to go for an increased devil deal percentage on floor three. Does that make sense? That makes sense? Again, it's only in this hypothetical scenario that I'm trying to help you understand how the game calculates the devil deals and understand that there's a reason why it, there's some compensation. There, there's some compensatory levels of devil deal forgiveness when you get a when you get an XL floor on one and two only. Only this is the only time that you'll ever see us have a 67% chance for a devil deal or angel deal um, on a uh, following a uh, on, on floor three. That's the only way that this happens. Okay. So I know that that's a lot. I know it might sound confusing, but again, I'm trying my best here. All right. The floor one, floor one essentially is 100%. Floor two, because we got the 100%, we're not going to get it, obviously, because it, we get, we went from 100%, killed the second floor boss, it goes down to 33%, and then, oh, hey, look, we didn't get a devil deal, and it's in the game's mind. So now we're on floor three, and now we're getting the compensatory percentages of 67%. It's a unique, it's a unique scenario. Also, I really hate this room. It's 
best to, it's best to try to attack the uh, the white uh, grubs first. We could take pay to play here, and that would solve our lack of keys. We could also get into uh, into golden chest now for basically a penny, which is a really really nice upgrade. So keys are now basically totally useless. There's really no reason for us to even care about keys at this point. Um, and now Guppy's tail would have been great, of course. But hindsight, 2020, all that stuff. So really hoping that we get ourselves a, uh, a damage upgrade here on floor three. We need to not lose too much more HP here. And you know, I'm, I'm down for an angel deal. Like, Team Angel deal, y'all been y'all been really slacking. I mean, really slacking lately. So if we could if we could just do better on that on that front, you know, that's that, that's the that's a lazy that's a lazy social media saying these days. When they're like they try to make a someone tries to make like some sort of like educational looking, intelligent looking point, and they're just like do better. <laughs> okay, sure thing, Ace. Just do better, just because some random nobody on the internet told me to. Obviously, we still need bombs to... Oh, my goodness. We got another tiers upgrade. That's going to give us to five. And uh, hit the soft cap. So two random tier upgrades here. And we'll... Uh, I mean, we'll take it. Now it's time to supplement that tiers rate with some good old-fashioned damage. Need some... Mucho, 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 mucho daño. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Look, I'm learning. Movement speed is also kind of a problem. And uh, that's the reason why I've been taking a couple of dings, especially in that grub room where really shouldn't have taken any damage in there. Um, but 0 0.90 is pretty god awful. Big room might be here, maybe. Okay. Uh, I do want to use a bomb here to get us to 72%. We get both of our bombs back plus one. And then the super secret room might actually be here too. It's a very rare double secret room. Nope. Never mind. Just kidding. Must have been gas. Amino. Gonna let Robo Baby 2.0 kind of take the wheel here. Gonna run into him here with uh, Game Kid and do as much damage as possible. I honestly, honest to God, didn't even see that rock that was to the right of me there, and I was trying to just, like, sidestep him. There we go. So we do get an angel deal. All right, but I'm pretty sure you haven't paid out now for, like, three hearts, I feel like. You get a movement speed upgrade, which is something that we desperately wanted, and we're also going to get Soul Locket. You know, Soul Locket plus this combo might be good. Well, we got a point two point two damage upgrade just for one little soul heart. We'll take that. And uh, definitely want Mom's Pearl, because, again, that's going to give us even more Soul Hearts that we can get. e is going to also be feeding us some stats. So, you know, Soul Locket is probably one of the better upgrades we could have gotten here. Uh, I'm not going to fight the Angel Statue just because I don't want to. All right, Caves 2. You know, you know, settle down there, Robo Baby. I don't need you shooting stuff right next to us, all right? I need you to, there you go. You need to be doing remote damage. It's, 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 in, it's built into your DNA. All right, you're supposed to be improved. Do an improve. Yeah, we can go into the curse room. Yeah, I'm glad we did. We finally get our first damage upgrade here. This is going to give us three soul hearts. I'm going to try to get, I'm going to try to get out of the room before it gives us a soul heart. So watch our HP if we can. I don't know if we're fast enough. Uh, yeah, we were fast enough, actually. It took away the black heart, the half black heart, and then gave us three fresh new uh, soul hearts on that. So, and as you saw there, we also gained uh, some good damage here. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to if soul lock it procked off of it. I'm pretty sure it does not. Maybe. 
I have to go back and look at the replay. But obviously, we're looking we're looking at a very very dominant uh, position here early on in the mid game where we've got a very good amount of DPS. We have shored up our the, the main problem, which was our movement speed, and uh, you know we have an engine now. We, like you know we talk about in Magic or in Pokemon where you have a, a, a card engine, you know something that kind of just powers along your build your deck and your build and that sort of thing. And right now, what we do is we have the, our HP engine was the combination of Lil Chad and D Bizzle. And now we even have like a, almost like a turbocharged engine because we've got the addition of Soul Locket, which is going to give us even more benefit for stuff that we already were going to be having. Okay, so it's just a, it's just a turbo that we've added to this engine of ours. And uh, that's going to open up a world of possibilities for us. I don't know why I did that. All the, all the Globins do is just run away from me like the... Like the ghosts from Pac-Man. Pac-Man was never a game like on those on those retro consoles and all that stuff that I played, and I was like, I was ever really into. You know, like I know that my that Mama Victa, she was a big fan of of Miss Pac-Man, um, and she said that she played all the time. She my my Mama Victa, she's not a she's not a gamer. She doesn't really like playing games. You know, she but she. Pac-Man and what was another one that she liked? She liked Space Invaders way, way, way back in the day. So that doesn't really help us here, game. We wanted to just get those pennies, but we'll take a look in here. It's going to be the other D-Bizzle. So we got, we got D-Bizzle, D-Bizzle squared here. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go out back in this do this one more time there we go okay so because we left the item room uh, on the pedestal in the item in the item room left the item on the pedestal um, uh, we can go maybe go do the dice room now because it might be a six room or not a six room a four room um but we shouldn't do that until after we're done with the boss. So let's go fight the boss first. It's going to be mega fatty. I don't like being so far away from mega fatty where we don't have any room to back out. But if he does a super leap. There it goes. We get our first HP upgrade of the run. I do want to take it, even though I'm not. I'm not like fully convinced that this is going to be a four room, but I mean, it might. It's got an equal chance, I suppose. Uh, we got plenty of bombs. We could be bombing mushrooms if we really, really needed to. Also, just realized we haven't gone in the store yet. <laughs> Very funny game. Now, this is the time for us to get Key Beggar. Key Beggar would be not terrible. Um, I am going to take the Half Price Mom's box just because that's just great value right there. Uh, watch battery. And then let's go see what our reroll in the item room turned into. It was spinning top, and it turned into... Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, at least that's out of the item pool now. And again, if you wanted to min-max, you could go around and bomb all the uh, mushrooms, but I just don't see a reason to. I don't think we're going to make boss rush. Okay, let me let me clarify that. I, I let, me, let me walk back that statement. It's not that I don't see a reason to, because there is a reason to go out there and bomb those mushrooms. The, the reason is because you get items. You can get you know one of the best items in the game, a magic mush. But I don't see a necessity that necessarily says, hey, we have to do this. Like, we don't, if we don't have to do something in Isaac, I'm not usually going to do it. Uh, mainly because I don't think that we need it to win. Would I take Magic Mush? Absolutely. freaking lootly. Are you kidding me? There's not, a, there's not a, a run goes by that I wouldn't take Magic Mush. But there are times where it's just that if it's unnecessary or if it's going to just, like, you know, waste time or... 
whatever. I mean, the chances of getting magic mushrooms are very low, and that shouldn't be the reason why you don't do something in Isaac. Just because the uh, the odds are bad doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to go in your favor. I mean, we see that happen all the time <laughs> if you're a regular to this channel, but um, it's just that it, 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 we are not in a position where we need to do that. Does that make sense? So, you know, call it lazy. That's, I mean, that's totally fine. I've been called way worse. Um, and uh, I don't necessarily suggest playing like that. Um, as a newer player or even like a mid-level player, you still want to try to make advantages where you can uh, and give yourself the best possible chance of winning. But if you get to a level to where like, it's like, we don't need magic mush right now. We don't need HP. You know, you don't need it. I mean, absolutely need it. Then I don't think it's necessary to go around and, w and bombing every single mushroom. Um, even though it's something that you should be doing just because it is like, it's, it's basically free. We are definitely not going to make boss rush here, which is surprising considering that we started off with an XL floor, but doesn't always, it doesn't always guarantee access to boss rush. Just when we keep going in the wrong direction. I'm really surprised the secret is not there. This room here always start on this on the bottom plane and dodge down towards the door is you need to have a way because the way that this room is set up is deliberately made to be valleys to be sort of lanes and those leapers what they'll do is they'll jump up and then they'll attack in a cross pattern which leaves you no room to dodge if you're stuck in one of those in one of those lanes um so dodging towards the door it gives you that little tiny space of opening that you can dodge freely and get away from the the cross shots without taking damage and yes we've done a another full clear here as always and this is one of those. This is the one of those times where I'm like, the sort of the the Sinvicta method of playing Isaac, sort of kind of kind of rears its, you know, not so good looking head, and uh, I am more inclined to use bombs to skip rooms, rather than to go over there and try to min max some mushrooms that we probably won't ever need or get any payout of. Um, that's just that's just me. Let me do this. I mean, it's three. I'm actually going to take a deliberate hit here so we can get the soul heart. It may seem stupid, but we just got a 0.4 damage upgrade, and I, I tell you, this this combo here, this this mega combo that we've got with uh, little Chad, D Bizzle, and now Soul Locket is so so good. It's not often that you get a get a chance to see a triple synergy in uh, in Isaac that actually worked together. I mean, you just saw little Chad right there throw. Another kiss to D Bizzle, and then he, hopefully he throws out a soul heart, and we just keep on we keep on stacking them stats. Yes. There's the entire map, everybody. Still We're looking for that boss room and that shop. How does he do it? Obviously, cancer giving us a two tiers up instead of one because we have mom's box. That is another wombo combo of ours. This is just a run filled with synergies. You drop it over there, okay. And this is a non-XL floor, by the way. We're still looking for the shop. This feels like the way towards the boss, so I'm gonna go find the shop. Just gotta complete the meme. And a greed fight. Which is fine because he's going to drop more money, which means that we can open up more chests. You obviously don't have to worry about keys. All right, D-Bizzle, I'm not going to lie. I've been watching your payouts for the last couple of times now, and you haven't given us a soul art in a while, son. All right. It's supposed to be a synergistic episode here. All right, I need you working with, working with little Chad. I mean, little Chad's doing his job, all right? Soul Locket's doing its job. Weak link right now is you. A range upgrade. Here you go. <laughs> Not going to sacrifice 
I'm not I'm not gonna sacrifice here. The this engine is it's too good. We got a, another range up from Soul Locket. I mean, is this an unstoppable combo? I don't know if it's unstoppable or immortal combo, but it's it's dang near perfect. You know, it's it's just like I mean, like comparing it to an engine really is a pretty apt comparison um, or metaphor. The the it, it's just it, it fuels itself like like little Chad fuels D Bizzle, which fuels Soul Locket, and it's and Isaac is the one who ultimately infinitely uh, profits from that because we get HP and stats. So it's like how do how do we lose with something like this? D Bizzle fumbling again. Uh, we have a golden bomb. We might as well see if we can save ourselves two keys. Actually, never mind. It doesn't, it's not going to cost any keys. We don't, we don't, we don't care about keys. Hey, Bizzle. You're on watch, son. I don't know how we didn't hit any of those shots on the wall banger there. Full card, which obviously won't matter. Um, I'm going to hold on to the wild card. Epiphora, I mean, Epiphora is fine. It's not going to, it's not going to like, it's not something that we need, but it does increase our DPS by a lot. And uh, we need to go back and find our store here. As you see here, we're just firing. I'm just holding down the button and uh, firing in one direction. The longer that we fire in that direction, the higher that our tears rate goes up to a cap. And Epiphora can very quickly ramp up your damage. So if you need a meaningful DPS upgrade and you don't mind seeing your tears rate fly all over the place, then Epiphora is going to be for you. As luck would have it, the shop's going to be located all the way over here. Checking for the secret room there. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. This time it wasn't. Definitely want to get in the curse room here for some potential soul heart goodness. Look at that. 0.5 range upgrade, 0 0.20 uh, damage upgrade. Global D twanky. I mean, might as well. It's a great start, and if you're enjoying this start, everybody, make sure you click the like button. Again, we're trying to get the like street counter and get back up here. I know the weekends kind of fall off a little bit, but last week we had a great, great week of, uh, or weekend, I should say, of likes, and I would love to see that uh, see that go over again. I know that there's a lot a lot more than a few people who are looking forward to seeing the, uh, the all items tier list stream, and that will be held here on YouTube as well, so keep that in mind. If you want to get there sooner... You gotta do is click the like button. It's totally free and it's the best way to support my channel. So this wild card, if you're wondering what the wild card does, it will copy anything that we've done. Um, whether it be use our space for item or use a rune or use another card, it will simply just copy the last thing that we did. And uh, that can be very, very powerful, especially when you're talking about something like uh, Genesis or um, the uh, or Diplopia. I'm going to try to fire in the same direction if I can here. Which is not working at all because we're being attacked from all sides. There's no way to predict which door she's going to come out of. There we go. There we go. Get some serious pepper in there. All right. Going to take the negative for some damage because we just need more raw damage. And that's just going to increase our DPS by a nice little margin. I'm going to go get the big room out of the way right now, just in case this is where the game wants us to go, which it doesn't look like it is. Oh, maybe. Might, we might have that skinny room over there to the west. 
So obviously smelting the uh, smelting the cancer trinket is great because now we have a permanent tears up. No matter what we do with mom's box, we'll always have that uh, that tears up of at least one. So, and yes, mom's box does synergize with trinkets that you smelted as long as you're holding on to it. Holding on to mom's box, it is. Uh, we don't really need to play a judgment. E Bizzle. Just another 0.2 damage upgrade. Man, this is this has just been fantastic. We get ourselves another soul heart, so I am gonna that's gonna give me the green light to go into the curse room here. 0 0.04 movement speed. Look at that. Mini mush. I'll take a mini mush. I got no problem, mini mush. It's temperance machine. Kind of a penny. Mm, I mean, that would be better for the next run. If we decide to do one, which probably will. I do like Brainworm, though. Brainworm can be very good. It's almost like a mini. Um, it's kind of like Spoonbender in a way, except it's not as accurate. But it raises your shot efficiency, and that can also be very important. Actually, it, it can't. It's not that it can be. It is very important, but just not as important as other things. We get another couple of soul hearts here. Our damage just keeps going up. Just keeps going up. It's gonna hurt our tears a little bit. Actually, no, we're overcapped, so it doesn't even matter. Man, we are moving. Confident enough to go into the curse room here. Despite us not having, I mean, we have a de we have a decent amount of HP now, but we don't get cocky. We don't need to get cocky, but we do have the tag team champs of the world here, so we can be a little bit cocky. Thirty-eight point eight percent. Obviously, now with piercing shots, death touch is just going to supercharge our DPS even more, and allowing us to get through armored enemies. I mean, like. The, the world is our oyster at this point. Got a luck upgrade and a range upgrade there from Soul Locket. Soul Locket, this is the most value I think I've ever seen Soul Locket ever have. Because we don't see this. We, we don't see this dream combo here. Went straight to the straight to the boss room, and I'm fine with that. The boy's okay with that. Ready to ready to get this day started. Here on Saturday. Hope everyone's having a great Saturday. Whether you're curled up drinking some coffee in the morning or you're settling down for a nice dinner with the fam on the evening side of things whenever these videos come out or whenever you consume them. Hope you're doing well. Had a lot of people sign up for the Patreon, everyone. And the uh, graphical update for the Patreon is not done yet. Uh, but if you wish to get those exclusive keychains, you can. We already had one winner. It was Rick Rue who uh, won the golden keychain, the signature edition. And uh, the second uh, second drawing will be at the first of the month in July. Can you believe that? It's already like almost July. Like this this year's half over. Where like seriously, where does time go, man? The older you get, the faster time just goes by. And I understand now why old people were like, you know, oh, in the blink of an eye. It's like, yeah, it, it, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it kind of feels like that. You know, it was it was only yesterday when I was over at Papa Victor's house and not sure where I was going to go in my life and, you know, decided to make silly YouTube videos and the next thing you know, here we are. I got everything, everything that I, that I currently have and, and will ever have. I have no one to thank but the mosh pit people who support these videos every single day and Isaac too I mean if it wasn't for Isaac I wouldn't have any of the, any of this stuff I don't think ooh crack crown yeah that's a big big gain because the thing is now 
not only not only are the stat doubles that we've gotten are going to matter for crack crown but those 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 stats are now doubled thanks to mom's box and thanks to Solok, it's spreading all of these all these all this um all these stats that we've been getting spreading them around they are it's just going i mean crack crown is just huge what's going on in here so it just supercharges crack crown even further Nice little fancy dodge right there. Push pin. Don't really need that. Okay, D Bizzle. The amount of spiders that you've given us is starting to starting to eclipse the amount of hearts you've been giving us. Been, we've been keeping tabs on you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start firing here. I'm not going to place the bomb because we're just going to be firing nonstop, and that's because I want to ramp up this tier's rate. So we can really just sort of gun Stanley down here before he gets a chance to do anything. Yeah, look at that. Then we're going to bait the feet to come over on this side and then still continue to fire to the left. There we go. Epa 4 just absolutely destroyed Satan there. We, need, we, we still need hearts, D-Bizzle. That's, that's the thing. What you're not doing is you're not giving us hearts. And that's what you're on this team to do. If you're not doing that, then we have no use for you, son. Uh, yeah, we can take both of these. It would be nice if we still had the smelter queued up for wild card. Truth be told, I don't know what I'm going to use this wild card for. I was hoping by now that we would get, like, an emperor card or something like that. We could just double it. And getting a hero fun card also wouldn't be too bad but with dark matter here that's just going to again give us even more damage and i couldn't tell if d bizzle was trying to pay out there or not because dark matter there we go Got another range upgrade our range is sick nasty crazy i really hate that spiders can be thrown over your tears like they they clearly should be one shot by those, but the game's like no no no. Here's a new stat for you. It's called enemy height. Lucky Paul, we hopefully will never ever need on this run. Bizzle giving us a point two eight damage upgrade. Very nice. I'm trying to use Epa 4 here best we can. Pharynx, no thank you. Never on a Saturday. I actually thought he was going to be... I thought he was winding up for the Brimstone there. Uh, but the Fear Shot kind of uh, faked me out. Got Meconium and stuff that we don't care about. All right, there's the east side of the map, everybody. Look at that, Fear Shot absolutely destroying that dark one. Ops Curse. Feels like it wants us to go this way. And I'd be wrong. So I don't really know at this point what we would replace Crack Crown with, except maybe Curve Torn? The credit card. Sorry, right, wild card. You just you never never panned out. I'm I'm afraid. All right, there's the west side of the map, everybody. Now let's go check out the north side, shall we? Shot speed upgrade because I 
pretty sure that the other tiers, uh, the other the other stat went into the tiers rate. Okay. Not sure what was going on with that adversary there. Your shot was kind of making him slide. All right, baby. Yeah, come on, dry baby. This dark chest should not have taken this long at this point. This is just this is just the result of some Victor navigation. Wouldn't cross. I mean, it gives us the holy mantle. I'll take all tar, uh, moon card. Sure, why not? It took us all the way on the other side of the map. Uh, get the quarter. All right, one more time. Here we go. I think that was dry, baby. Not sure. It's hard to tell. Now goes lamb. No big deal. Yeah, we'll fly through a victory lap real quick here. I can see the 097 Echo Romeo Romeo Hotel Zero. All right, D Bizzle, C Dizzle. Now, now's the time to catch us back up. We lost a little too much HP for my liking against uh, adversary there. So what's nice about the credit card is that we can take a Devil Deal for free. We don't we don't have to use it in the store. And we'll most likely utilize that free devil deal goodness. Whenever we do finally get our devil deal, I'm going to grab this. Give us another 0.28 damage upgrade and a range upgrade. We actually got Steven. So Steven is the damage up. You don't see that one too often. Usually it's a little Steven associated with the Steven fight, but I think it's the most time I've ever said the name Steven in one sentence. Half soul heart here, which gave us more damage. So you can tell it does not matter what uh, what type of soul heart you get for soul locket. You'll get the you'll get the full amount, whether it be a half heart or a uh, full heart. Uncle Holy Water. All right, fine, yeah. That's fine. Uh, found Soul will just give us a, just a lot more. Uh, but we lose so much damage, though, man. We lose 3.65 damage. That's more, that's more than I'm willing. I mean, even though Found Soul would double our damage technically because it's just going to be like Incubus, uh, Found Soul can also die very quickly. So and I think that I think that this combo of, of having... Mom's box along with uh, a doubled, a doubled stat bank provider, whatever you want to call a soul locket here, is just too good to pass up. Another shot speed upgrade. We don't, we won't be getting more tiers, that's for sure. And ceremonial robes is actually free here. And as as I thought. From the first or from the second floor on the first run, um, it does not give you a stat up from Soul Locket. We don't, we don't want to keep going. So we didn't really need to use uh, the credit card just because, like, it's Invictor Robes are literally just free. They give you three Soul Hearts. So now, if we wanted to gain three Soul Hearts, like, yes, we technically could. And actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if we would have gotten. Any stat ups there? Had I, maybe the reason why Soul Locket didn't activate is because we technically didn't gain any Soul Hearts at all. I don't know, I'm, but I I'm under the impression that I'm pretty sure that it, it doesn't inter, it does not interact with things that grant you Soul Hearts. 
Isaac has to actually pick them up. Look at that. And the damage total is just going to get even more crazy and crazy. Okay. There you go. Get ourselves a solid circle, everybody. Well, square, anyway. I mean, really, when you get down to it, a square is kind of like a circle. You know, you just go one way, and then you just keep going in that direction, and then you eventually just get back to where you started. Isn't that the type of a circle? I like lemmings. Yeah, thank you, Ned Zach. Great to see you. Go, go, go check on Angela for us now. Thanks. How come we didn't play Limbus Company? Okay, all right. Here we go. Bumbino. Bumbino. There's a tenant rock up there, of course. And we're going to gain range and more damage. I do not want this pill, D-Bizzle. And yeah, we're still just going to hold on to this credit card. Eventually, we will use this tarot card one way or another. All right, let's go check out here. I wouldn't mind getting bookworm, although I don't think we've actually touched any books yet. That'd be two of three. Also counts for one for Seraphim. Having some flying would be nice. Holy water getting in there. Love to see the big time plays. There is your, there is found soul. Picked up more than that, D Bizzle, not gonna lie. A luck upgrade. Okay. Yeah, I don't I really don't know what what other trinket I would take at this point. Uh, over uh over crack crown. I mean even curved horn, it would I mean curved horn would give us four damage, which is pretty nice. But we're already gaining 3.65 damage with Crack Crown and all these... I don't, I don't care what the shop is at this point. Um, and we have all these other stat... Up, well, actually, we haven't gone to the item room yet either. <laughs> all right. Fine, 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 fine. We'll go, we'll go take a look at it, even though we really don't need to. I ran into the spikes there just to uh, free up some space for our next Soul Heart, of course. It wasn't because I was just firing constantly at no reason at all and didn't see the spikes. Um, coin purse. Now we've got ourselves something interesting here. Got the mom transformation. Left hand. So we have filigree feather, which probably won't matter because we're on. We're unless we get the stairway or something, or we find like an angel room, an angel statue inside of a uh, super seeker room. We're probably not going to get any benefit from it. Inky, which is going to give us even more of a tears rate and size down after we got mini mush. Now, the reason why you're not seeing a tears upgrade over on the left side from Binky is because we've already we've already reached that cap, that soft cap, and now we are way over capped uh, thanks to the cancer trinket in Mom's box. An eternal heart, might as well. Thank you, Gimpy. So, Mom's Purse is now going to allow us to hold two trinkets. And now will be an excellent time for us to get something like Curved Horn or like Sigil Baphomet. Wouldn't mind, uh, wouldn't mind, I wouldn't even mind like Kane's Eye, honestly, to give us a little bit of mapping, maybe. Mapping's kind of been a problem on this, on this run. I almost said the server. Yeah, on the server. Oh, the Isaac server.
going to get even more of a fire rate upgrade here because mom's uh, perfume does break the tears cap. And man, oh, man. Our tears rate is ridiculous. So is our ability to find not right way to go. I was letting D-Biz will pick him up as we go. I'm not going to wait for him. Oh, man. We got Red Stew. I am going to take uh, Sackhead as well. I promise you. I promise, credit card. We will use you. In one way or another, we're going to use you. I promise. Did we get hit there? Is there a creep there that I just didn't see because of Balatar? They've fallen. And we get duality. Okay, with filigree feather now. Mm. They're looking good. This is the second time we've seen Panic Buttons. Still haven't seen Curved Horn yet. Certain trinkets do have different weights to them in terms of item value. And the game does not like dropping good trinkets. Especially when you have car battery. That's something else that I've noticed. Oh, we got a double red heart there. Remember, we do have red stew, so... Uh... Okay, there you go. I used you. I, see, I told you. I told you we, we were going to use the credit card. See? I didn't lie. We did, in fact, use credit card. There you go. And there's nothing wrong with maybe with uh, Fruity Plum, I suppose. I just kind of just want flying. Flying would be very nice. Or even Spectral Tears would be cool. Really don't have to worry about doing boss rush at this point. We could get out of there, I suppose, if we really, really wanted to. We just have so much damage. Like, it's it's not... I mean, they're just going to melt. I'm going to go for the Angel deal here at this point, because I've lost faith in our ability to get any guppy items at this point. So the Filigree Feather is going to give us an Angel deal item, and it gives us Pogatori. Pogatori. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Oh man. Let's go see old Beastie. Why not? Why not? She's been she's been talking trash this weekend. I heard. We get rid of the Polaroid, which obviously is not going to lower our damage at all, because, well, we didn't lose the negative. Sun card. We don't care about the item room currently, because we it's a, well, it's a blind item room. One of the pedals is, is blind anyway, so I'd much rather just wait. But we'll go check out our final shop, however. You used the credit card for no reason. You could have had it for this final shop. It's true. Definitely could have. Um, I don't think, I don't think lead pencil stacks, but we're going to find out. That'd be great if it did and just fire out just a, a burst of like 4 billion shots. And our tears rate is so high that like, it's just going to be, again, it's just going to be constant here. Can it rock up there? I don't really care about it at this point. Well, there might be a soul heart. Here we go. Spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. And we're gonna absolutely mollywop beast. 
and I'm, I'm honestly here for it. Big Chub. He's big and she's chubby. Just like me. Big Chub. Oh, God. Or Boros Worm. What is this going to look like? Yeah. That's that's god awful. Uh, I'm going to take Beth's Essence because we're not going to see another Angel Statue. And we might as well get some Wisps. Especially if they're going to be... Uh, are they going to be helpful or helping us with uh, the wisp damage and size? Although, does Beth Essence work on the ascent? Apparently not. Ice Cube. Ice Cube's not terrible, but it doesn't proc on bosses. Still, it was still looking. How long have we had Mom's box now? We've not seen Curved Horn. I feel like we've seen every single one except for Curved Horn. And we're still looking. Place your bets now in the comments, everyone. Will we find Curved Horn or not? I should mention really quickly too for those of you who are part of the Twitch Mosh Pit, um, the or or if you're just in the Discord, the monthly Mosh Pit giveaway is currently live. So those of you who've been watching the live streams, getting those those points that you see people gift subs for, and then they get uh, they they spin the wheel of sissy and get some points. Now is the time to use them. We got plenty of good games on there. We have signed merchandise, all kinds of stuff for the prize list. Go check it out in the Sinvicta Discord. And go get you some free games. We got Diablo 4 on there. We got a copy of Crab Champions. Uh, we got we got Hasbro's Battleship is on there. If you ever wanted to play the same game that me and Coach Crendor play all the time, then Battleship is indeed on there. Most people most people sign up for the uh, or not sign up, but most people buy their tickets for uh, for uh, the sign stuff. When I say buy tickets, it's, it's, there's no monetary value, by the way. It's just it's just points. It's channel points. Just in case if anyone out there is like, oh, you're charging people to do stuff. Well, that is how the economy works, usually. But if you want to twist it in some sinister, sinister nature sort of thing, then, you know, that's, that's, all, that's, that's your problem. We do finally get another damage upgrade here. Soul of Isaac really does not matter. We'll absolutely destroy Dogma. Absolutely destroy old Beastie. And call it a good Saturday. Right, baby. Pretty sure that it's not stacking. But just look at this tears rate. Is a laser beam of damage. Down goes Dogma. Surprisingly, didn't go down as fast as I thought it would. And now we got to reset our tiers right here again and just absolutely plow over all of the Harbingers. It's not as dominant as I thought it would be, to be honest. Gonna do it. I'm not gonna change the direction I'm firing. I don't care what you do. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. I bring war over this side because again, I don't want to stop firing.
Although I think using Mom's Box does stop the Epic 4 bonus, so I could be wrong about that. Oh, you drew. And D Bizzle fumbled the hearts. He fumbled all three. The three fumbles. We could add another 0.28 damage upgrade. You see here, I'm just going to be peppering in the bombs that I always do. Mix them in with the regular attacks. No reason not to. There's, I mean, you can't take them with you. So you might as well get the most out of them. Get some extra damage on old beastie. I have no idea where I am at this point. Start firing the other way, and that is going to be that. So thank you for watching, everyone. What a fantastic run it was to cap off another great week of videos. Again, go check out the other videos from this week if you want to get the Life Street Counter back up and on schedule. And I do appreciate each and every one of you who support the channel every single day here in the Mosh Pit. Have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Happy B-Day Nash, Emil Caban, and Rick Rue 59 If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode or get your hands on one of those exclusive Sinvicta keychains, then go to, to patreon.com slash Sinvicta.